That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. I, I, Who have you I, got I, this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable boy was, in Bannerman's clothes. Sir Ryland. You did this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No! I, this I, house I, has suffered the loss oh. of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester. Look at the colours. A fine uh, trick. I'm sure you ex- Leave. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <laughs> You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry, you, sir. Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there. Who are you? Oh. Oh. It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick! By oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Oh. Fetch the maester! Roderick! My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of the poppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Only if you let me finish my work. Let him... Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No, Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? 
Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me, and that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan, how could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Talia. I know you can. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... Who do you think I am? I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Roderick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. black, so this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate! You're right.
rival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. <laughs> On a horse, no less. <laughs> Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Your Frostfinger? You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You thief. A raper. You abandon your post? Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. But then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead, and they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? 